Hi, I'm Mike Massimino. We've been following along with the astronauts who are going to fly the next shuttle mission to the International Space Station. What you are about to see is the crew practicing for their mission, the team that is responsible for training them, and get a sense of what it's like to fly the shuttle. This is STS-131 behind the scenes. All right, ladies, here we are at uh, <laughs> Here we are at, at, at Astronaut Crew Quarters with two legends of the space program. Oh, yeah, that's it. Judy right. Hooper and, and Lauren, Lauren Lund. Yes. And, and you two Lundy. ladies, Lund, Lundy. I'm so, Lundy. Lundy, I'm sorry. You pronounce the E sort of, kind of, Lundy. Right. Okay. And you two ladies have worked here at, at Astronaut Crew Quarters for how long? Uh, 16 years. 16 years? Too long, too long, too long, too <laughs> long. And I've been Putting here up with guys KC like, for 30 like us. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. You've been here for K at the Kennedy Space Center for 30. Since yeah, STS. All right. And how long have you worked here in the, in the, in the crew quarters? 10 years. 10 years in crew quarters, right. and you've been here for six, okay. Yeah, so, I've been and, here 23 so years. So explain, what, what goes on in this, in this area here, in, in crew quarters? This oh, is a very, this is a, you can't say? <laughs> Just you can't say no. You know, we don't. We don't want to tell all the stories. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought you were going to say. Was more the quarantine before launch. The, right. So tell us a little bit about what goes on with that. Uh, they come in four to five to six days prior to launch. Yeah. It depends on when they feel like coming down. Right. And um, and then all the cooks come in, all the subjects right. come down, flight ticket right. file come down, right. the management comes in. Right. And we're swamped. And you're swamped. You got everybody coming in here. Everybody. And, and and Judy, they're here because they want they because they have to be quarantined, which means oh, they can't. Be, yeah, so so you're really careful with them when it because you want anybody getting sick. Yeah. Right. 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 Health right. stabilization. We, right. Health. Yeah. We have yeah. a health stabilization list. Right. You know? So so we know who has had flu shots, who has a cold. Right. Everyone is instructed, you know, not to be around the crew if they're sick for any right. reason, or if they have children that are sick, just. You know, to be very respectful of right. Because we gotta have a healthy crew yes, to go into space. Absolutely. So that's that's what we get. We get and we get. Right. Now, part of and we get. We spend a lot of time. You know, disinfecting crew quarters prior yeah. to the crew coming in. So what do they do? They come in and oh, just wash the whole place down. Everything is washed. The carpets are cleaned. The the, the kitchen is spotless. The we check the it's shower stalls. Anyway. <laughs> it's what it's spotless, it's spotless right? anyway. Right. It is. Yeah. And. Um, uh, we make sure that they we wipe all the doorknobs down and the buttons on the elevators and the inside of the elevators and the oh. rooms, oh. The rooms the from top to bottom. Keyboards are sprayed uh, mm -hmm. several times while the crew's here in quarantine, not right. just prior to their arrival. Oh. And then if you notice, the attendants, you know, will be going around wiping everything down right. all through the day after they've cleaned the rooms and so forth, right. just to make sure. And everyone knows, you know, we're like uh, off limits. Off limits. Of right. So you, have everything, so you keep everything nice and yes, clean absolutely. and healthy yeah. for the crew, right? The few days before they go into space, so they oh, don't, absolutely. so they don't get sick. Don't ask what. Why don't you want me to ask? Yes, John. What? Who <laughs> are you over there to sing? Please. No singing. Okay. Well, first, first we need to. Do, you're not gonna, you're gonna sing for us, aren't you? You can't help yourself. Oh, All right. Can't well, help first, yourself. first thing we need to do is we need to get, even though I know you, to state your your first and last name, okay. so we know who everybody is. So, okay. go ahead. What, what, don't it's all right. Go ahead. Don't be scared. I'm not going to eat anything. No matter. My name is Andrea Hurd. Andrea Hurd. Pat Bisek. Pat Bisek. And Beverly Allen. Beverly Allen. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. So. Uh, what do you ladies do here at uh, we're in crew quarters and we're in a kitchen so what do you guys what do you ladies do here at uh, crew quarters they try to make you happy oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> through food well, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah absolutely and, and you do a very good job of it because the food is always great but that's really what you do don't you you right. keep a so I, I explain a little more uh, but how do you... the recipes come from Houston yeah and we prepare the recipes and yeah. requested by Houston uh -huh. and uh, and we hope to make them happy and like everything. And, and, and it's pretty, I mean, it's great food, isn't it? It is. We yeah. make cookies. Yeah. Cake. <laughs> yeah. The cookies always seem to go first because that's their favorite. Yeah. And we also make uh, carry on sandwiches, close out sandwiches, and uh, to go out with the shuttle. Okay, so you were saying that you, uh, 
You, t- you, f- you make food for the crew here. You get these recipes from Houston, apparently. From Why? Whatever they eat. Whatever they eat. Okay, they so. They get from this they request. Okay, so they requ- what they what they request, right. what they'd like, and then you prepare the food for the crews. Okay. We, we eliminate all their likes and dislikes. Right. Whether you're allergic to something or right. you don't like to eat something. Right. But on the first day that we're here, before yep. the crew arrives, we come in and we make cookies. You make cookies. Chocolate chips. <laughs> Oatmeal, peanut butter, and so on. And then the fresh food comes in. We wash everything and uh, store everything in the right temperature and just wait until the crew arrives and we start cooking. But but this is important because this crew, you can't get these people sick before they go into space. And so we come to quarantine so we don't get sick. And one way you can get sick, even if you're, you wash your hands a lot, is by what you eat. Right. So you're under the gun to make sure you don't get anyone sick before, right? This is, right. you got to, I mean, it's. Right. It's a pretty it's sterile a, environment. Very right. sterile environment, but you also have to be very conscientious yeah, to make right. sure right. that nothing bad enters the food right. system here. Yeah. The, the so. fresh fruit and the vegetables, when they arrive into the kitchen, we usually wash them in plain water and then dip them in water that's got a little bit of salt so we can kill Ooh, them. Oh, I didn't know that. Ugh. Is that the, it's all right, though. Yeah, yeah we don't right. even know we this. Yeah, 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 we don't taste that. it. We have to kill everything. All right, okay. And, and bottles and candy and everything, yeah. they get dipped, they get white. Is that, I never knew that. Oh, yeah. Well, so you, have to do, you ladies do that? Yes. yes. Yeah. Wow. So you, so you make sure everything's good. But, I always say when... Somebody will say, are you tired or whatever? And I always, I always do this comparison. When a, mu- when a woman has a baby, goes through all the pain, and then you turn around and say, I want another one, this is the way I feel about a launch. Even though we work very hard, long hours, and we're tired, but once you guys are gone, we're ready for the next one. And that's what I like about it. That's a very perfect. Good- Good perfect. That's, that's, that's the comparison I always see. Yeah. That's perfect. So you make our sandwiches that we put in our pocket, more or less, right. and, you, and that's what you eat when you go to space, yeah. your first meal. What is the most popular uh, carry-on sandwich that, that peanut crew? Butter peanut butter and jelly. jelly. That's exactly what I had. <laughs> so you make the peanut butter and jelly that goes into space is what you make. Oh, really, whatever they ask. Whatever they want. They want a turkey sandwich. Turkey or ham. Yeah peanut butter or whatever. Right, whatever whatever we want. And you pack those things very nicely for us. Usually with a drink, too. We get a drink right. bag. Right. You get something to drink. And that's the first meal you have. When you get to space, right. the first thing you eat is that, you know, that's what you're going to have. Right. That sandwich that's made here goes on the space shuttle, gets blasted off on the launch pad, and ends up in the, in the astronaut's tummy. It has to be eaten within four hours. Eaten within four hours? I didn't know that. I ate mine on the second day on my first flight. <laughs> okay, Irene. Yeah? What's your last name, Irene? Tell us what we have for the... Hancock. Irene Hancock. You work here at Crew Quarters. How long, how long have you been working here, Irene? Mm, ten years. Ten years. And what, what, is your, what is your job here? Crew Quarters attendance. Which means what? What do you do? Several, everything. Several things. Several things. From cooking on down, on up, however you want to put it. Yeah. So you take care of all the stuff around here. Exactly. And how do you, how do you like, because you, you work, we see you all the time, right? You're like a family member too. We run around here, we see you, and we see you here all the time. How do you, how do you like it here? Is, I enjoy is it. Is that fun? You like working with these astronauts? Don't drive you too crazy? Mm-mm. Not too bad? All right. So, and you got, you're going to work, you've worked, you've worked just every flight probably for the last 10 years then, haven't you? Exactly. Yeah. Do you have any favorites? Any favorite story or anything that happened with these guys? <laughs> Anything that's happened where, you know, um, can you say? When they joke around with each other, you know, or play jokes on each other. Yeah. Like switch sandwiches, <laughs> switch plates, you know. <laughs> yeah. You're like our, our, our mom over here taking care of everything. From A to Z. From A to Z, whatever we need to take to take care of stuff. And exactly. Whether it's laundry or food or whatever's going on to, to take care of us. So, all right, well, we very much appreciate all your work here, Irene. And we enjoy and it. Do you? You wouldn't, you wouldn't probably trade your job for anything, would you? No, it's a great place to work, Definitely isn't it? Definitely not. Right, all right, well, thanks very much, Irene. You're welcome. Good luck with these guys, including Clay. <laughs> <laughs> right, first off, I need, I need everybody's name this morning, first and last. I don't even know what your last name is, I don't think. Gloria. Gloria, I'm sorry. Which of what's the matter with me? I don't even know what your first name is. I'm all mixed up today. Gloria, what's your, what's your full name? 
just tell your full name for that camera. Oh, oh what, you mean you're, I'm on? Yeah, yeah, you're on, you're on. You're... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you. Gloria Clark. Gloria Clark. I can't believe. Of the kitchen. You're head of the kitchen. Yeah, and these right. are always wonderful cooks. All right, who else we got? I'm Susie Stuckey. Susie, Susie, Gloria, Susie. Lois. Lois, what's your last name, Lois? Brown. Lois Brown. Okay. okay. And you're cooking. You cook breakfast for the uh, for the crew today. Yes, we do. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And how long have you been like uh, feeding uh, the astronauts here? I've been here since 1995. 95. Lois was, no, 1999. Lois has been 10th of this one. I've been here 13 years. 13 years. I've only been here two. Only I'm two. Like, you're fairly, fairly. You're the young one. How do you ladies like doing what you're doing here? How does it, uh, you know, this is, I mean, you're in a kitchen, but this is not well, your you average know, kitchen. I don't want to do all the shopping either, but. No, yeah, but. There's, yeah. a, there's a tremendous amount of pride that uh, we take in feeding all of the crews that come in here. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, they leave here satisfied and they go back to Houston and they sort of let them know how, how well they were fed. I mean, yeah, that, yeah. that's a great compliment for us. And uh, we love it. I mean, yeah. it's hard work. I'm not going to say it isn't. Yeah. Long hours on their feet and uh, small quarters, but it all works out. Yeah. Everybody here is friendly. Right. How's the ride? Pretty good. So you're high. Is that right? Your name is High. Yep. That's me. Hi. And uh, uh, you drive the Astro van for all the crews? Yes, sir. No. This is the Astro van, isn't it? What do we call this thing? This Astro van. This is the Astro because it's got astronauts in it. Exactly. It's the Astro van because it's got astronauts. And you drive it every time? No, I don't. No. There's four of us that drives. Do you need a special license to drive the Astro van? Pretty much, yeah. You do? Yeah. Does it say? Does it say like you know uh, yes, on your it license? Does. What's it says Astro van on your license? No, I say 007. 007? 007. Why is that? What was that? Is that um, a James Bond thing? I guess. <laughs> I have no idea. That's so that's your, that's your number. All right, that's your number or something yep. for driving the Astro van. Exactly. How many times have you drove, driven a crew out to the pad? Uh, about over 20 times. Over 20 times. The vehicle assembly building is out there. Look at that right there. Big building, isn't it? Yes, it is. Keep your eye on the road, Ty. You know, you don't want to get. <laughs> I don't, don't let me distract you. I don't. All right. So, and you got an escort in front of you. Yes. Control. All right. Yeah, you could probably go as fast as you want, couldn't you? No one's going to stop you, are they? No. You're taking astronauts no, in a launch pad. We're not, we're not allowed to speed. Yeah, but still, I bet if you wanted to. You know, you, yeah, you don't want to speed. It's not a good idea. Yeah, uh, got precious uh, cargo on board. Right. Now, is this the same for you as it will be on launch day? Yes. Just the same exact thing? The same exact thing. All right. Except when there's no cars coming. All right. It'll be a clear highway all over. All right. Way. Okay. This is a pretty cool job. Yeah, it is. It's fun. Hey, guys, out. Love it. All right. Yeah. We'll drive safely. Always. All right. <laughs> okay, uh, you've got a lot of people helping you out here. Oh, there's yeah. a helo there's a helicopter right here. Yeah. What's he doing? What's the helicopter doing? That's, that's he makes sure the coast is clear. Yep. Make sure the coast is clear. Yep. Sure the coast is clear. He'll do that on launch day also. All right. He flies with us every time we move. Oh. So this is a ride out to the launch pad. And there's a space shuttle out there. You can get some good shots of him on top of the pack and he'll circle the pad. Of the helicopter? Yeah. All right. Do you ever get any crew members want to get out for a break or something? They say, hey, can we stop for coffee on the way out to the yeah. launch pad? Yeah. They never do that. They're ready They'd to go. they too excited to get there. Yeah. Always. No one's like, oh, I forgot something. Can you turn around? Do you ever get that one? No. Uh -uh. No? We'll send a security unit for you. Yeah, so if you need anything, <laughs> friends, if they have to a potty break. Hey, no potty breaks. You ever get into that and I want to pull over? I got to yeah. go potty? No potty breaks. <laughs> Nothing? We have Nothing. a bathroom in the back. You do? Yeah. You thought of everything? Yeah. yeah. All right. You can take care of it while we're moving. Do you have to tell them, they like, hey, like, you know, when you're driving kids around, you ever get like, hey, come on, knock it off. Are we there yet? Yeah, we there yet? You get that one? <laughs> you got people telling you that? I got a couple of those. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Not yet. Give me 20 minutes. We'll be there. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at the big crawler. All right, ooh, look, the space shuttle's right there. But just like launch day. Yes, just like launch day. Except that won't be there. That'll be... Well, the shuttle will be there. Yeah, the structure won't be. Yeah, you get to see... Roll around. You'll, right, you'll see the space yeah, shuttle. Because right now, the space shuttle's hidden by the structure. You gotta wait till nighttime and do it. 
and see the lights on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's smoking. Right. Oh man, what a sound. Yeah, 58, any north end, 58, you can release your trap. Grab that radio. Okay. Flat. Flat. Oh, I don't want it. I don't want it. You're the flat. Oh, you want your flat? Hey, I thought the rookie came. I got 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 the rookie came. I got